Happy Thanksgiving and almost Merry Christmas. Hi, Alex McFarland here. I hope as Thanksgiving winds down, maybe uh, you're feeling not so full and getting up and being mobile a little bit after enjoying a big dinner with your family, I hope. You know, one of our crew, Mark, showed me a meme and it said this Christmas, don't be ungrateful for what's not under the tree. Be grateful for those that are with you still around the tree. And you know, as we're thinking about gratitude, that reminds me of a famous minister named Vance Havner. Vance Havner was the guy that urged Billy Graham to become an evangelist. And late in his career, he took an interim pastorate and one Sunday preached. And people thought that, you know, he seemed a little preoccupied. But after the sermon, he told the congregation, he said, uh, there won't be uh, an evening service because in the night, my wife, Sarah, passed away and everybody gasped. How could you preach, uh, you know, knowing that you just lost your wife? And Vance Havner said, well, I haven't lost her. I know right where she is, and I rejoice in that. But he he wrote a book called Though I Walked Through the Valley, which is really one of the best-selling books about grief and really gratitude while we have the chance to be grateful. Because Vance Havner said in his book about the passing of his wife, Though I Walked Through the Valley, he said, once a loved one is gone, Even though they're in heaven, you know where they are. You're going to have a reunion one day. He said, but after they're gone, you would move heaven and earth to relive even the most mundane, ordinary day just one more time. So as we enter into Thanksgiving and Christmas, I challenge you in the spirit of Psalm 107.31, be grateful. Oh, that we would give thanks to God. You know, it always kind of makes my heart heavy on Black Friday you know, where the stores, they supposedly do enough retail business that for the first time in the year, they're in the black. And, you know, we're celebrating Thanksgiving. Uh, We're anticipating the coming of the Prince of Peace. And yet people are in the aisles of the stores slugging it out over a flat screen TV or some material good. Oh, my goodness. We've got to get our priorities back on track. And I want to tell you, you know, in my own life, I don't really remember any presents but I remember my grandparents that loved me. I remember mom and dad. I remember pets we had that would play with the Christmas ornaments. If, if you think about it, it's not the material stuff of life. It's the love of people and the love of God. Those things don't cost money because, uh, you know, they're priceless. We got a lot to be thankful for, don't we? So going into this Christmas season, please know that I'm grateful for you. You pray for me, you correspond, you financially support so that we're able seven days a week, 365 days a year. We're on radio, television, internet, in print, ubiquitous because we're partners together. I'm grateful for you and I'm grateful to God that we have a message. So thanks for watching. Uh, You know, you can find us online at alexmcfarland.com. Uh, Stay in touch. Know that we love you. And together, let's show the world what love and gratitude and serving the Lord is. Blessings to you this day and this season.